Excited for the new season eight premiere of Doctor Who Deep Breath? How about inviting some friends over for a premiere party? I'm a mad woman with a whisk and a sexy apron and you found me on my new YouTube channel, Souffle Girl, where I'll be posting tutorials featuring food from all 50 years of Doctor Who, as well as a few craft tutorials. So today we're gonna make a meal in honor of Eleven and Clara for your premiere party. Cheese souffle, salad with balsamic vinaigrette, and toast points. Okay, so we're making cheese souffle um, because I think that's what Clara's dish is. If you think that you know what Clara's souffle is, write it down below. I'd like to know. So we need a cup of milk, and to that we're gonna add a bay leaf, mustard powder, and paprika. Get that all in there. And then a teaspoon of salt. And you're gonna need a rasp and a little bit of nutmeg. And you don't want to add a whole lot of nutmeg because it's a very strong flavor, but it does give you that classic bechamel flavor. So that is perfect. Mix that all together. Stick it in the microwave for about two minutes to get it to warm up, get the flavors to marry, um, but you do not want it to boil. Now that your milk is warm, Whisk it back up again, give it a little stir, and set that aside. Next, what you want to do is heat your oven up to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And then, you're going to want to prepare your souffle dish. This is an 8-cup souffle dish. So, get a little melted butter, get messy, stick your fingers in here, spread butter everywhere. Take 2 tablespoons of shredded Parmigiano-Reggiano. So, you just grate that with the rasp as well. Sprinkle that in there, and then shake it all around the side so that it, it gets all over the butter, and when you bake it, it makes a lovely crust. Perfect. Okay, now you're gonna wanna chill this while you're making everything else so that it doesn't just immediately slide down the sides when you stick it in the oven. So the next thing that you wanna do is get six eggs, and you're gonna wanna separate out four of the yolks Two of the oaks you don't need, so if you're like me and you have pets, dogs, as long as you know what they can and cannot eat, cook up the extra two yolks. Give it to them for a snack. It's good protein. So, proper way to crack an egg on a flat surface. That way you don't get any of the shell in. And then you want to make sure that you do not get any fat whatsoever inside of your egg whites. So, wash your hands, get all the butter off, and make sure that you don't crack the yolk. Crack it into your hand, gently. And then just kind of move it back and forth. Okay, so get your egg whites in the mixer. Start them whisking. You want to beat your egg whites until they're just frothy. And then you want to add in a quarter of a teaspoon each of cream of tartar and salt. See if we've got stiff peaks. And we do. So, this is what your egg whites should look like. Okay, so now what you need to do is get some butter and some flour. And you need to come over here. So, you need to take your two and a half tablespoons of butter and melt them in a pan. And then, when that gets melted, you need to add three tablespoons of flour. So you sprinkle it all in. Get out your whisk. Make sure you don't have any clumps. And then you just need to let this continue to cook for about two minutes to get out the raw flour flavor. When that's cooked, take your bay leaf out of your milk mixture, the bay, the Spanish paprika, and the mustard should have infused the milk so that your souffle doesn't just taste like an omelet. So, while this is warm, whisk it in. Then 
and you just need to cook this until it starts to thicken up. Okay, so now that our sauce has thickened, we need to add in our four egg yolks and whisk quickly because you don't want the egg yolks to scramble. let this sit off and cool for five minutes. Okay, so while you're waiting for your bechamel sauce to cool off, you are going to make your toast points. So just cut off all of your crust. It's actually where most of the vitamins are, but it's not as pretty for a dinner party. But you can save these and make breadcrumbs for another dish later. Okay, now that you've got a square shape, Cut diagonally, and you have toast points. Okay, so pop your toast points onto a pan. Grab some extra virgin olive oil and do a little drizzle over each piece. And then set those aside for later. Now that your sauce has had some time to cool, you want to add in four ounces or about a cup of shredded cheddar. You can use different cheese if you like, like Gruyere or possibly even goat cheese. That would be yummy. Today we are using cheddar. Okay, so just gently stir in your cheese. You want to kind of leave it lumpy. That way you have strands of it all throughout your souffle. You're going to take about a quarter of your egg whites. You're gonna mix them in your cheese sauce. So, we're gonna fold them in by going around the outside of the edge and down through the middle. And then you just keep repeating that motion so that you don't deflate the egg white. Because that fluff is what keeps your souffle afloat. Okay, once you've got that pretty much incorporated, you need to add the rest of this to all of your egg whites. You're going to use the same motion to fold this in. Go around the edge and through the middle. You have folded your cheese sauce into your egg whites and your oven is up to temp and so now all you have to do is put it in your ramekin and throw it in the oven. Now if you wanted your souffle to have that perfectly flat top like a professional French chef you would have to smooth it out and then go around the edge as well. But Clara's souffle is really lumpy and burnt. So you're gonna wanna come through and create some lump shapes so that it rises, it's a bit off. Perfect. Okay, now pop it into the oven for 25 minutes. You're going to want to set your souffle on a lower middle shelf in your oven over a baking pan that's been lined with foil, just in case it spills over. Once your souffle has been in the oven for about 25 minutes, it should have set up. Mine's a little bit farther along. And then you're going to put two more tablespoons of shredded Parmesan on top to make a lovely crust. Be very delicate.
to the point when you don't want to slam any doors or yell or anything like that because your souffle could go from fluffy to flat. While you're waiting for your souffle to finish cooking, let's prepare our salad. This doesn't really have a whole lot of measurements involved in the actual salad part. It's just to your taste and how many people you can have. So get a bowl, fill it with mescaline mix, and then you need some craisins. some raw walnuts and you don't want to put those in um, whole you want to kind of crumble them up so they're more bite-sized and some red onion slivers cut really thin because you don't really want to um, get like a big bite of onion and then to give it a nice extra crunch you're gonna need a half of an apple so just cut it in half and then cut it in half again and then if you turn it on its side, it is very easy to take the core out. You should always wash your apples, especially if they're not organic. And then just do some very thin slices. Okay, I'm going to just add those to the salad. For your balsamic vinaigrette, you're going to want a container. A pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. And then what I like to do is take a garlic clove, smash it, take the paper off, and then just put it in there whole. That way you don't get chunks of garlic, but you get essence of garlic. Two tablespoons balsamic vinegar. Roll that around, uh, try to get the salt to dissolve. Then throw in two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And then you're gonna need about six tablespoons of olive oil. So just eyeball it, the measurements don't need to be exact. Okay, put your stopper in. And voila, balsamic vinaigrette. So you wanna dress this right before you serve it. That way, everything doesn't get soggy. So, just drizzle that on. Toss it at the table. Now, souffle is done. We're going to throw the toast points in. And it is beautiful. So you've got your toast points out. Okay, so let's break into our souffle before it falls because it will fall very quickly. So you just go into through the center and pull it apart. Mm, that's got a nice crust. Mm. That is light and fluffy. Grab some of our salad. And some toast points. What Whovian wouldn't be absolutely thrilled to have this? The final test, is it delicious? Mmm. That's better than the test souffle that I made earlier this week absolutely delicious. It's creamy and fluffy and it you can taste the cheeses. The paprika gives it like a, a hint in the background of um, smokiness but you don't really get like a, a spicy or a mustard. They just help to accentuate the flavor and it does not taste like an omelet. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. They were simple and easy to make and I actually made the souffle gluten free. You didn't even know so, invite some friends over, watch the episode together, Deep Breath, and post your videos of what you made so I can see. Next up, Jamie Dodgers.